For some, finding a carnival band on Carnival D is a challenge. But for the past four years, the Junction has been tracking carnival bands with its mobile application in Trinidad and Tobago. In her ninth installment of Carnival and Digital Media, journalist Marie Hull chats with the developer and creator of the app about taking the service beyond this country's carnival period. Information at the swipe of your fingertips. And in the words of Ria Karam, the Junction's developer and creator, it's all about being able to access aspects of the entertainment sector. With thousands of downloads yearly, Ria says rolling out the software in 2016 was crucial to creating a solution to a problem. For me personally, it's not just about, let me see where the band is, or let me see what's going on. I saw a need for adding the technological element to improving efficiencies and information sharing about what is our primary tourism product in Trinidad and Tobago. This is the time of year when we promote our greatest show on earth. One prominent feature of the app is its ability to use real-time GPS location data. There's an interactive map there that helps you find where you're trying to get to which is really important, not just for visitors who don't know the place, but people in the front parts of Trinidad don't necessarily know how to get around in the other parts, and we know that. To date, the mobile app caters to 20 bands across the island and not just the capital city. Ms. Karam tells us what may affect the service. You know what happens when you have masses of people congregating in one area, but sometimes also the signal is affected by buildings and so on. That is pretty much beyond our control. Um, but I do know that, be, like my partner, Be Mobile, they are doing an exceptional job in ensuring that the LTE service and their connectivity is right up there, um, especially during times like Carnival. So there is that element, but you know we have faith in the providers. The Junction app has since expanded to other regional countries. Marie Hall, TTT News.